Today has been one of those days that kind of started not great and went to shit real quick. Let me explain. Well, that looks like shit. So I cut into my framing. Why did I do that? Okay, this right here is our bed. Head, toe. Now, before I cut those pieces of wood, I can expand my arms and touch. That's not much in the way of sleeping room. So, the plan is to frame this out a little bit further inward, giving us an extra two to three inches of sleeping room. And I would say an extra two to three inches can really make a big difference. So I'm using one quarter inch Luon in the cutout area for more leg space. The problem? This stuff is brittle and weak. So I wanted to use some extra framework glued to the van walls as an extra brace. But no matter what I tried or how long I held, the adhesive wouldn't stick. Yeah, that shit didn't work at all. So with the lack of sleep, shoddy tongue and groove work, fuse it being a pain, and after hours of work and multiple attempts and my plan of making progress going down the drain, a real bitch fit ensued. This, is, this day sucks. This fuse that's not wanting to fuse. Tongue groove isn't going in straight. What a simple, straightforward task that just absolutely turns into a shit show. Yeah, I don't know if I'm even gonna... There is a silver lining though. That right there is the tongue and groove that wasn't exactly lining up correctly. It's a million times better than it was before. Still not perfect, but way better. So I'm gonna end today on a bit of a win and I'm gonna go to bed. So with a good night's sleep and my little bitch fit over, it was time to make some progress. I'm bound and determined to have a much happier and successful day today. I'm gonna get to work. So I'm over here racking my brain, wondering what was the easiest and least painful process so far on this van? It was the floors. Cardboard template. Go back to your roots. Cardboard template. And I think that'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. painting this but so far that's a pretty good little fit wish I would have been thinking a little bit more clearly yesterday oh well question is do I keep going with good momentum and tackle a little bit of this wall or do I hang my hat up and go out on a win on this wall and I think that is where I'm gonna hang my hat up for the day it's been a great day I'm gonna go out on a win You know, I don't know if it's working on the van or the quarantine that kind of has my days just in a blur. It seems like most days in the week I kind of forget which day it is. My typical schedule is wake up at about 1.30 in the morning, have my coffee, get sort of acclimated to the fact that I'm awake and have to function in the world, go to work, come home, have my breakfast, have another cup of coffee, then get to work on the van until about 5.30, 6 o'clock at night. So, yeah, it seems like most days of the week are just kind of kind of gone, <laughs> but it's all right. I, I suppose it's good that I have something to sort of keep my mind occupied. I know I'm gonna have good days on this thing. I know I'm gonna have bad days on this thing, but I think that I just need to kind of revel in both and enjoy the journey, see where it takes us.
because I know eventually it's going to take us back out west. Eventually. But for now, break's over. Time to get back to work. I'm losing a little too much light and it's about 6.30 at night, so I need to go to bed. I gotta wake up at 1.30 in the morning tomorrow. This is what I'm gonna call it for the day. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, new day, new shirt. Let's get these walls done. So the plan today is to hopefully finish the walls, but I'm gonna do this section over here. I'm not gonna do tongue and groove all the way across. The reason is because this right here is gonna be the area where our little kitchen hat's gonna go. I don't see any purpose of taking away that inch from the tongue and groove and adding the extra weight uh, when it's just gonna be covered up with the bed and the kitchen hat. So, let's get to it. Now with two very successful days in the book, I was determined to have a third. So I made this wall as simple as possible. I looked towards my old trusty friend, cardboard. That's the rough idea. Not sure how it's gonna work, but I think it looks pretty decent. And like I said, this, it's gonna be covered up. So, I mean, it doesn't have to be like the prettiest thing in the world. It just has to make sure that uh, none of the insulation falls out and the cats can't get back there. that look at that this look pretty damn good so far i do say so myself so with what turned out to be the easiest section done so far i didn't have much more to go let's finish these walls and floors Even Ryan's trusting me to do it. <laughs> you make me sound like an asshole. Ryan likes to work alone. <laughs> Misty's been upset because she hasn't really been able to come out and help me with a lot, but. But at the same time, I was like, okay, he was getting so much done and making so much progress that it was exciting to see how far everything was coming along. I was like, okay, he's on a roll. She's so just gonna she's let him. Let him do his thing and get this van done and... Let the man on the mission continue, I suppose. But I'm ready to start getting more involved in it, you know, so... Now that he's got the bones, or how do you say it, like the... Sure, the yeah, the bones. Work. You've got the groundwork laid. Now, it, it, like, you sitting in here, you can kind of visualize ourselves, you know, waking up in, like, Yosemite or Moab or yep. Yellowstone or something like that. It just feels so much more real. We didn't the even bed. say what this is. This is a Noiko... Noiko? 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 Noiko. Sound deadening. Noiko uh, sound deadening. It's, it's sort of like rattle trap. We're only using it for the wheel wells because we're not building any, uh, like, wheel well boxes or anything. It'll yeah. save space. They're going to be under the bed. But this will help just reduce the noise. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're adorable. Whatever. You are adorable. Next project, the bed. Hey. If you want to see the actual step-by-step -step process I took in more detail, check the description below. Also, if you like this video, show me by hitting the like button, subscribe for more content, and to see me make more of an absolute fool of myself.